Hi everybody, Flash Crow here from Old Man Gaming Down Under. Welcome to another day of medieval dinner. Dinner, dynasty. <laughs> dynasty. Uh, oh, what? That can't be right. It's summer. Unheard of. Um, well, I'm obviously going to have to turn the... Um, environmental sand down just bear with me for a second well, that's a little bit better <laughs> just now the new season so I better just check see if anything needs um, repairing yeah, it doesn't look like it Hmm. Oh well. I won't complain. I think it's ready. Oh. I shall collect these just quickly. And then I'd better go find the hunter and have a word with her. Did I get them? Yeah. Lovely. I'm not at all organised, but then that shouldn't surprise anyone. Um, yeah, this way. <laughs> I know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. Right, cabbage. In you get. It's not bad, 122. It's all right. Do I have any water with me? Should check these things, you know. They appear to have. Hmm. Well, I'll take one. Right now, where's that other? Where's that lady? <laughs> ah, she's still at her house. Good. Oh, there she is. Well, I better talk to her. If I can get her to stop. Hello. Hello, Gertrude. Let's try a bit of romance, shall we? <laughs> Don't look too bad. Um. You seem very interesting. Can I ask you something? Um, hmm. Yeah. I'm always eager to learn new things. Do you have any advice for me? Uh, what you say? Sure. Be very, very careful when foraging mushrooms from the forest. One mistake, and instead of getting delicious scrambled eggs from mushrooms, uh, <laughs> you wake up three days later naked, sharing a burrow of a bunch of badgers. Great guys, terrible roommates. Oh, okay, so she's got a bit of sense of humour. Um, <laughs> oh, well, let's ask her again. Um... Yeah, where do you come from? Tell me something about your birthplace. Uh, imagine an enormous forest, but the trees are all buildings. Survival is as demanding as in the wilderness, and most of the time, you're not the one hunting. Great taverns, though. Hmm, okay. I'll try one more time. That's 10%. Um... Yeah, what's your favourite season? Winter, no doubt. No stupid farming. Uh, animals are easy to track and you never have to drink warm beer. Ah, okay, so she likes to drink. She's got a sense of humour. 
and she's by the look of it practical yeah okay that will do 15 percent first hit that's all right see ya farewell goodbye goodbye <laughs> right well it's goodbye i've got a choice well i don't have much of a choice really because i'm supposed to go back to see sambor but how long do i have for that um <laughs> 17 years left hey well for the quest line it expires but so i can either go back to sambor today or i could build some more not really ready to build anymore because I'm not prepared. I've got. Hmm. Well, I know what I've got to do. Let me just. Uh, how many knives can I make? I can make a few. Let's just make another. Hmm. Well, let's make 35. We'll put 10 in the uh, storage for Gertruda. And we'll keep... Aha! Workshop 2 unlocked. Very good. Um, yeah. So I'll put some of them in here. No. Stain. Well, I might as well put these fishing spears in here as well. Actually, no. I'll keep one just in case. And how many iron arrows do I have? Five. It's not a lot, just in case I need them. Um, the iron, not the iron knives, stone knives. What did I say I was going to put in? Ten. That'll do, I think. Oh, wow, she did go through a few, though. Maybe I should put fifteen in. Maybe another five. Leaves me with twenty to sell. Um... Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Just checking to see what I can sell through this place. Okay. I can't remember. Could I buy arrows at the... I'm going to see if I can buy arrows down at Tutkey. I don't even know if he's in here. He might have been at the village. Hmm. I can't see him. Can't remember his name. Not here though. What was the hunter's name? I can't even remember. <laughs> he should be here. Oh, there he is. My goodness, you scared the heebie jeebies out of me, Raven. Or Regent. <laughs> what can I do for you? Oh, bloody hell. Show me your wares. Goods of the highest quality. Oh, the highest quality. Okay. Uh, do you sell arrows? Iron arrows? No. What good are you? Useless man. Well, see you later, alligator. It was nice seeing you. Yes. You could have said something when I came here before. I wouldn't have had to gone back to the village. 
Well, I'm going to go see Sambor. I know, it's a long way. But i got to do it. No. Shovel won't help you, mate. Here he is, Captain Grumpy Pants. Hello, Sambor. What is it now? <laughs> is the parcel ready? Yes. All nice, warm and ready. Did you say warm? No. 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 Did you? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that... Here it is. Go to Tutki and give it to Walrat himself. As you wish. Ah, the mysterious parcel, hey? Hmm. I think this is just a different type of sandwich. <laughs> but... Yeah, I tell you what, it's good exercise. <laughs> uh oh. No, don't come after me, I'm running away. Did that work? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> running away worked. Who would have funked it? Yeah, if I remember rightly, yes, this is Walrad. I'll put my bow away. Well, I'll be damned. Excuse me? One is bright, the other dark. Both filled with a spark. Your eyes, you must be Resimir. Well, actually, res uh, never mind. How do you know my name? I knew your uncle, Lorden. Besides, I've always been good with names. Renegast, Renegast. <laughs> He's about as good with names as I am. What are you doing here? I would never think to see you in this in the flesh. Dambor sent me to you. He asked me to deliver this parcel. Oh, my sweet child. I would throw that away immediately if I were you. What? Why? Well, taking that I know this guy for over 20 years and that I can smell this parcel from over here, I can guarantee you that it contains his feces. Gross. What the heck is wrong with him? Ha ha ha! Well, he couldn't fool a master prankster, but he sure pulled a number on you. A number two! Ha ha ha! Uh, uh, that's extremely childish. Thank you, Radomir. Radomir, I'm doing my best to stay in good shape. That was not supposed to be a compliment. Anyway, I hope that bag of crap was not the only thing bringing you to me. Of course not. I've been actually talking with Unigost and Sambor about the pack. So you know, amazing. I was afraid that I'd let the cat out of the bag. We'd be, what? Well, we had to be very careful not to share our business with anyone. Always trying to be invisible, anonymous. Well, that must have been weird for Jordan when he became the Castellan. All this attention. My uncle was the Castellan? Yes, he was, and Unigos took over that position after he died. Didn't you know that? <laughs> no, Unigos has never mentioned it. Must have slipped his mind. I would love to hear more stories. I'm trying to learn as much as I can about my uncle. 
good thing you found me then. I love reminiscing of all the adventures of the menacing phantoms. <laughs> menacing phantoms? That was the name of the pack. They didn't tell you that. Those old farts and their memory problems. I'm going to tell you all about it. But first I need your help. You see, a large pack of wolves formed in the forest nearby. I'm afraid that will attack us any moment now. Yeah, well, I've only got five arrows. Um, oh my, that sounds really serious. It is. That's why I need to build a palisade. Oh, well, that's good. As soon as possible. I already have a plan for it. It won't be as much. It won't be as much as palisade, but a wooden maze. Oh, I know all about them. Uh, all around Tutki. That way the wolves will get lost. Confused and less likely to attack. Uh, what an amazing idea. I've got all the necessary tools. All I need is some logs. And that's where I need your help. Sure thing, I can help you gather some materials. How much logs do you need? I believe a thousand will do. Oh yeah, a thousand. You can't be... Quickly, Rema Pam Pam... Rema Pam Pam... Rema Pam Pam? Not Christmas? Uh, there's no time to waste. Well, that's got to be rubbish, so I'm going to go talk to him. What's troubling you, Rudolph? Rudolph, huh? Uh, just to make things clear, you were pranking me with the logs, right? What do you mean? The wolves are... Yeah, you got me. No, hang on. Yeah, okay, I'll do it in this voice. <laughs> I was just messing around. I was just messing around. But there is something I'd like your help with, actually. I need you to kill my cow. Right, is it a uh, sentence for treason? Probably collaborated with those wolves, huh? I'm afraid this time it's not a joke. We bought this cow a few years back. Her name is Merila. She stopped giving milk a while ago. My wife insists we butcher her because soon the meat will become inedible. But I just can't. She feels like part of our family now. Kids grew up along with her. We're all sharing memories together. You share memories with a cow? Oh, don't be like that. You know what I mean. Will you put her down? Just do it out of my sight. Hmm, now I did do this last time, but I'm not sure I'm going to this time. I don't want to have a cow, man. <laughs> no, I I don't want to kill your cow, man. Tell that to the wife. She keeps pushing and pushing and I'm just not able to do it. Okay, let me see what I can do. Talk to Amanda Hug and Kiss. <laughs> uh, I'm sure... They must be thinking of the Simpsons. Where am I? I'm lost. How can I get lost in Tutki? Amanda? Is that you? Is that you, Amanda? No, that's not Amanda. Is that Amanda? No? Well, she's not over here with the donkey, is she? No, the donkeys are asleep. Amanda? No. Ah, oh. well, I'll have to use my special vision. Ah, there you are, Amanda. Hello. Hello, you're Walrat's wife, I presume. That's me, Amanda, and you are? My name is Resimir. I'm Jordan's nephew, or rather I was. I'm sorry, honey. No. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. 
I'm sorry, honey. I never met your uncle. But Walred and him were sure close friends. What can I help you with? <laughs> I'm actually here to help you with your problem. Walred told me about Merila. Or Marila. Oh, you're going to help this big baby with slaughtering it? No. So you're just as useless as him. Why don't you do it yourself then? What do you mean? Why don't you kill the cow? You're clearly the one bothered with it. And why would I? She's just... It's a man's job. My mother used to kill chickens all the time when I was little. Of course I could do it as well, uh, but... He should be the one to learn how to deal with tough choices. Hard decisions. Bullrat is too soft for this world. Did he ever tell you what him and Jordan did for a living? Yeah. They were travelling merchants of some sort. Why do you ask? No reason. Listen. I might be out of line, but I don't think you should force your husband like that. You are out of line, young man, and I... I don't know anybody that would get attached to a farm animal like that. It's not weakness, it's compassion. And it should be cherished, not punished. But he... he's so... Char oh, you're right. He's just the way he is. And I do love him for it. I guess we'll manage without meat this season. Money is tight at the moment. Uh, hmm. Let me help you with that. I know my way around a bow and spear. Do you really mean that? That would be enormous, an enormous aid. Of course. How much meat do you need? I'm sure 30, 30, 30, I'm sure 30 pieces will suffice, I'll be back with dinner. Thirty, yep yeah, I'm an idiot, alright, and it's late, it's getting late, it's night time, what's the time? It's late. When do I have to do that by? Journal. Um, is that part of that? Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, I can probably... I don't think it's been a very long video because I spent most of it going to and from Sambors. It's probably a bit late to go hunting now. Well, hunting successfully. Um, where's the nearest blacksmith? I should know, I know. Just rude, woo, 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 hang on. But no. Amanda. No, I can't talk to her again. Um, no. Voldemort. How can I help you? Uh, I just want to know where I can find a uh, vendor. Um, a smithy, basically. Lesnicker and Hornicker. Okay, cheers. No, that's all. See ya. Goodbye. Yep. Lesnicker and Hornicker. Yeah, well, not going to Horny Hornicker, that's for sure. And le even Lesnicker's. Don't have much choice. I need, um. I need arrows. And I don't think stone ones are going to cut it. Let me just double check my inventory again. But I'm pretty sure. I've only got five iron arrows. 
It might be enough. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a quick sleep. And then I'll wake up and we'll go hunting. I think deer will be the order of the day. Although, do I have meat? Hang on, I have meat. Yes, idiot. <laughs> you have meat. What are you worried about? How much meat do we have? Open the door. Turn the light on. Meat. We've got 53 there. Yes, we can take 30. Do, 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 do. No, hang on. No, no, no. What are you doing? Meat. <laughs> Get so excited. I don't look at what I'm doing. Right, quick. Let's get back down and see her before she goes to bed. Uh oh, did the wagon light just go off? Am I going the wrong way? No. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda! Don't go to bed yet. She's in there. She's laying down. She might still answer me. I've got your meat. Thank you, Razumir. No. Thank you, Razumir. You've done us a tremendous favour. And I'm not talking just about the meat. Ah, maybe you are. I'm happy to help, Amanda. Here, take this for your work. What'd you give me? Three something. I hope it will be useful to you. I'm sure it will. Goodbye. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Three something. Did she give me three? Three what? There's nothing with three. Three iron arrows? No, I already had them. Three. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I'm not going to find it. I'll check on my editing. Well, in that case, what's it been? No, it's... Do you know any jokes, Wagoner? Can you tell us a joke? Pass a bit of time? Do you know anything? Anything funny? Look, look at me. I'm talking to you. Do you no, look at me. No, look at me. Yeah, that's better. Do you know any jokes? Oh, you're... Pathetic. <laughs> hmm. What have I got to talk to Walrat again for? Oh, that's it. I'm doing it in the morning. Bugger that. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Sleep till the next day. That's better. Have I got my torch still? Or did that go out? No. Interesting, you put it out. That's a better day. Right, let's go see Walrad. See what he's got got to say for himself. That's the guy, isn't it? No, that's Resrand. Is that Walrad? No, that's Geronimo. Walrad. Is that Walrad? What? Walrad. Walrad. I didn't know you had that coloured hair. You looked... Hey, what's that? What? Ooh. Why are you dressed like Robin Hood? Walrad. How did it go? I can't remember how he spoke. How did it go? Well, what you what would you say if I told you that Marila, 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 Marila is all well and Amanda is happy with it? You should know. You did sleep in the same bed as her last night. She was talking about meat. Well, I got her some meat. I would call you a liar, kiss you and propose. <laughs> what? You better make me the happiest man in the valley, damn hubby. <laughs> are you... What are you doing? Why are you doing that? It's a bit... A bit, a bit exaggerated. Uh, are you serious? 
How did you accomplish that? I guess you'll never know. I can live with that, kiddo. Thank you, Rapunzel. Thank you a million times over. <laughs> oh, no. I haven't got... Uh, what about a story about the pack, then? Naturally, a deal is a deal, my friend. Before meeting Jordan and the pack, I was, um, hmm, I guess you could call me a gambling artist or a professional dice player, but it would be simpler to call me a common crook. I was traveling from tavern to tavern where I would cheat using my special dice and earn... Why is it every time I talk, people want to walk in front of me? I don't know. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, bugger off, ladies. Um, <laughs> Why I would cheat using my special dice and earn some money. I was pretty decent with my act. But Jordan saw through me right away. His eyes were burning a hole in my palm while I was switching the dice. And when I dared to glance his way... He smiled at me. Even though he knew I was cheating and lost playing with me, he didn't say... He didn't say a thing. Paid up, shook my hand and left the table. I was intrigued like never before, so I followed him. I saw him meeting up with the rest of the pack, but I followed them too. I don't even know when I lost sight of Sambor. But suddenly, he grabbed me from behind. <laughs> you were. That giant picked me up by the throat with one hand. Threat to kill me if he sees me one more time. That must have been terrifying. I'll just wait for this lady to go. Smart thing to do would be to run and stay away from those people. But I've never been a smart man. So I kept on following them. Next time, Sambo added beating to the threat. I couldn't see for two weeks out of my left eye, but I didn't stop. <laughs> because he's an idiot. Uh, they were more and more annoyed with me, so they just started to ignore me instead. It didn't bother them I was following, following them. Then I stopped bothering them that uh, I was riding near them, then with them. So I started camping with them as well. Eat with them. Finally, one day when they entered a tavern, I sat with them at the table and Jordan just passed me a cup on, and a plate. Just like he did for everyone else. Unigos asked me about my name and that was it. I was part of the family. So you were like a stray dog that didn't want to go away. Exactly that. I know how stupid it sounds. Pathetic, really. But looking back, that was the best decision I ever made. Sure, they were making fun of me from time to time. Treating me differently at first. I was the youngest of them all. But after a while, I really felt like one of them. And I knew they loved me. That's really beautiful. I'll never forget my first mission. We were tricking a countess into signing over her mansion to the orphanage. It was amazing. I felt ecstatic and just at the same time a noble crook. Without any guilt, but a sense of achievement. And I did good. Even Jordan's right hand said so. You mean Unigost? Unigost? Well, he and Jordan were certainly like brothers, but I believe it was always clear for everybody that it was Kestrel who was second in command. Kestrel? Who's that? They didn't tell you about her? Well then, I won't as well. It's not my story to tell. You should go and talk to Unigost. I will. It was an immense pleasure meeting you, Walred. 
And for me as well. Jordan would have liked you. I can promise you that. Till next time, Ratatouille. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> I kind of like him just because he's... Uh, I think he gets names wrong on purpose. Um, and I'm very smelly. Look how dirty I am. Ew. No wonder he wouldn't tell me a joke. Yeah, look, he can smell me from there. I'm just going to have a swim. But I think the video's up. It's probably gone, been going long enough. I'll have a drink while I'm here. Yummy. Yeah, <sighs> Right, so I don't know where I'm going to head off in the next video. I don't want to talk to Unigost. I've been traveling around too much. I'm going to have to sit and think what to do about my buildings and also about some people. But I don't have enough things happening yet. I need to plant more. What do I have on the bag? We can plant cabbage. We've got cabbage seeds. That's all we've got in plant. So tomorrow, I think I'll plant some cabbage. Not now. We've run out of time. I'll stay here so I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs> oh, dear. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye.